In this Sailing Doodles, we continue sailing up the Chesapeake to Reedville and then up to the Solomons, where we reconnect with some of our sailing friends. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby and Taylor as we sail to the Caribbean and then back to the Chesapeake. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we left Beaufort and Cape Lookout behind and sailed around Cape Hatteras into the Chesapeake. We had originally planned on a 36-hour sail from Beaufort, North Carolina up to Hampton, Virginia, but the conditions were so ideal that we decided to continue on sailing and head up to Reedville. Sailing without the mainsail with just the Genoa and the Mizzen is one of our favorite ways to sail. The boat's really balanced and we don't heel over too much, and we still have a good amount of speed. Feels good to be here. I gotta say, it's uh, it doesn't have quite the same like romance as pulling up to a Caribbean island and that beautiful clear water beach, but it does have its own little charm. You know what I mean? You got these old little antiquated docks and these nice houses, the bad houses, and it's just kind of a cool place. I, I don't know what all kind of stuff is open right now. I kind of have a feeling not a whole lot is. Although that place looks like they may be serving food on outside. Maybe we'll go check them out. How does it feel to be back? Feels really good. Awesome. Oh, oh, Tears keep on falling, the night time is ours. Oh, oh, there are hundreds of these small little towns in the Chesapeake that are quite charming. Unfortunately, when we were filming this was pretty much the height of COVID, so there wasn't much going on. long sail it's nice to get a really calm anchorage to just relax and all that and that's what we got here today I mean last night it's really calm Ooh, there's a there's like a fish factory over there if the wind's just right oh man we're gonna get out of here anyway today uh, head somewhere where there's a little more liveliness boy whoo fishy fishy but anyway um, you know, we're back in the Chesapeake now and it's really muddy and so the anchor gets pretty dirty so we got a this boat has a wash down hose on it so I recommend if you're gonna get a boat especially if you're gonna be anchoring in places where there's really muddy water or gross water uh, not gross just muddy bottoms you're gonna want to get a wash down hose and I'll show you this one well, our wash down hose lives in this forward locker here and uh, it's just connected to a through hole with a high pressure water pump and a water hose and then that way it takes raw water from outside Puts pressurize it, puts it through hose so we can rinse off the anchor so we don't bring a bunch of mud on board. It's a muddy bottom here. There's a joke there somewhere. Solomon's Islands, so now we've got some friends meeting us there. I think we should have a lot of fun. It should be a good time. We haven't had all three sails up in a long time because we've been down in the trade winds where basically, you know, it's too windy to have all the sails up. 
for such short sales we didn't need it but uh i've been wanting to put the main up because i have to restitch this all our stitching is coming undone that's gonna be a big off-season project is restitching everything because the uv will uh that's the first thing it gets is the stitching and so i need to restitch this so i can make sure the cover goes all the way around because we're gonna store it for a couple months so anyway uh nice to have all the sales up what do you think what how are you enjoying it it's really flat out. Yeah. There's not too many of these lighthouses left out here. Right? It's pretty cool. I mean, you can see them. They've been pulled up and put on shore as museums. But uh, these lighthouses, I mean, people used to live in these, uh, you know, for a month or two at a time. I don't know how long, but <laughs> it's pretty interesting living out here. They bring you, bring you everything you need by boat. Yeah, when we came down here, though, it was like November or October. That's when the batteries died. Yeah, well, the batteries died, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there was nothing going on here, so it's kind of, well, I guess with COVID, there's not a whole lot going on right now, but hopefully it'll be a little more happy. Hopefully stuff is open. Yeah, Something. we have a couple friends coming, so we'll, we'll have fun no matter what. lowered the dinghy bat motor back onto the dinghy. It was actually a lot easier than I thought, but uh, thought it was gonna be. But we're gonna head ashore now and uh, get an adult beverage and some dinner. It's kind of nice. Things are opening back up. Solomon's is one of the more interesting places to see in the Chesapeake, with lots of tiki bars and restaurants. We made it to Solomon's. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing. This is like the first place that we actually anchored out on this trip. What do you think, Taylor? Good. It's actually kind of cool to be back here. It's like we've come like full circle. Yeah. Yeah. We just have a couple more stops on the way up back up to Annapolis where we'll leave the boat for the season. Probably do some cruising in and out. Um, on... But we've got friends meeting us yeah. here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So Steve and Loretta, who you've met many times, uh, will uh, be joining us shortly. And then same with uh, our friends Jeff and Cameron. Uh, Jeff and Cameron were actually, I think, in the first episode when we left Annapolis. Yep. They helped us off the dock. Yeah, they did help us off the dock. So they're good patrons too. So uh Looking forward to, they're going to, they're sailing down from Annapolis and Steve and Loretta are catching up with us. Um, so they're going to anchor near here and we'll have a good time tonight. I think so. And Taylor is uh, editing on her latest Taylor's Travels video. Yeah, getting that done. So if you haven't followed her YouTube channel yet, Taylor's Travels, you need to. Check it out. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, we're just waiting patiently for, for them, them to show arrive. Yeah. So the first of our friends are pulling in right now, Steve and Loretta. They just came all the way from Charleston, some like close to 400 miles. So they've been doing it two and a half days, whatever. They've been hauling butt up here. So uh, it'd be good to see them again. There you go. While our friends on Soulmate are still anchoring, our other friends, Jeff and Cameron, are coming in on their boat right there. Jump in the water and swim after them. Go for it. Yeah, that'd be good. We are the taxi service for everybody today because they, uh, on Soulmate there, they've got their dinghy already pretty much set and put away for the season, covered up and all that, so they don't want to put it in the water. And then our other friends, they have a dinghy, but you know, didn't need to bring it for this, so we are going to shuttle everybody ashore. Friends! Yay! For a ride in our big hey. dinghy, soulmate. Who's a young man on your dinghy? I don't know. Do you guys <laughs> even you recognize him? Beard, your brother? Beardless Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I should go beardless. Company hot. Woo! Woo. There we go. <laughs> What's up? Hey, we'll come back for you in a minute. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, meet Once up again. again. So many doodles meet up again. So many doodles. Cheers. This is becoming a habit by the way. Right, right, Taylor? Oh, Cheers. sorry.
to go pick up Jeff and Cameron. I'm so excited. All right, so we have our friends Jeff and Cameron. Hi. Good hey to there. see you guys again. So good to see you too. Some of the best times that I've had in my life are hanging out with, with sailors and yeah. YouTubers and it's really good to get to know other new people and thank you guys for inviting me over. Here's the yeah. new people. Cheers. New people. Cheers. New people. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to new soulmates. Yeah. We soul love mates. you. Wait, is this my same cup from like... Yeah, we didn't wash it. We didn't wash it. There are only two episodes left in this season, so be sure to tune in for the next video. And of course, our patrons always get early access to those videos.